Hey guys, Shell here from Shadows Grove Homestead. We are going to go out to the coop and give the chickens a treat. And then we are going to um, collect the eggs. And then I'm gonna show you a new surprise that we got for Theodore, the rooster that lives in the house. I'm sorry for all the bumping around this will take since I have to move my hands around a lot, closing gates. We'll go see the, the flock. It's sunny today. It's kind of cool that it's so sunny today. I'll turn the camera around when we get to the chicky boo boos. There's Aiden. All right, here I'll hand this to him. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Here we go. Now this is their their snack food, yummy treat stuff. It's not their everyday feed, and it's just a mixture of hard-boiled eggs and um, boiled rolled barley. And last night I had a a rice pudding go bad do the wrong setting michael put it on the wrong setting and then uh there's uh what else is in there grapes she's like oh hey put it in the middle so there's more room for them all to gather around it michael put it in the middle oh aiden i'm sorry put it in the middle they all ate of the platform there you go sorry about that they are digging to china we have um, we have raised this twice. We ordered in a truckload of dirt and raised it. And it was flooding so bad. And then we filled it with more sand, more sawdust, um, the horse uh, pine pellets. And that helps a lot with the flooding. Plus we've got the French drain. But man, they like to dig. They've been digging pretty far over here too. All right, let's go in the coop. I gotta get eggs. Looks like that's our that's our rooster Bjorn right there. He's a gentleman. Most of the time he's a gentleman, but he definitely doesn't uh, mess around when it comes to his girls. Um, he doesn't bite really anymore. He did get Michael the other day um, on the leg, yeah. but. Uh, for the most part, he's normally pretty good. Seven eggs. Seven eggs. We have to see. I don't know how many were laid this morning. So. This, these three look like they were not recently And as laid. you can tell, it's in the nesting box. We have sand, and then I just I brush it off on my apron usually. And these three look like and they it just were comes right off. Not recently laid. That one looks like it was recently laid, but those two don't. But the thing I like about the sand is that they don't, um, it doesn't seem to, you know, get, it's not muddy. It doesn't seem to attract them to want to go to the bathroom up here in their nesting boxes. Um, we can easily scoop out anything in there that we don't want. It's soft. The eggs don't crack. Um, it's cheap. And it's something that the girls are comfortable with since the whole um, coop is nothing but sand, as you can see. If I can zoom that out for you. Um, and then Aiden's getting ready to actually clean it here. And basically, and as you can see, we have a litter scoop up there. That's basically how this whole place gets clean. We use the small one on like the poop deck and the nesting boxes. And then we have got a big, um, it's a mucking rake. And we take the mucking rake and we put some hardware cloth on it and make it into a great big, huge litter scoop. So basically cleaning the coop is as easy as just scooping a litter box. It just is a much bigger litter box. Not that easy. You're gonna have to 
do it multiple times. Okay? Well, yeah, it, it's, it is hard work, but I'm saying compared to most people who actually have to shovel out everything in their coop every time they clean it and replace everything. We don't have to do that, and aren't you grateful for that? No. Here, hand me the key. So, and Aiden will clean it out and make sure to close that so that you can open the door for ventilation. They don't need to come in and out of here anyway. I'm going to open all these. No, I want you to close that one so you can open the main door. That way, it, it, this dust, the dust really kicks up when but you're, when I, when when I you're cleaning. cleaning. When I start cleaning on this time, one of the girls come Close in. that for one me. One of the girls usually come in and try to lay. They'll be fine. Close that for me. I want you to close it. It's, a, it's better for your lungs. There's a whole lot of dust, and it's so much better if you can just open the door. He usually does a good job. I hope he does a good job today. So thank you, Aiden. Okay. Best of luck to you. Got my collection of eggs in my apron. It's the cutest thing ever. Are you going to check how the chickens and eggs are doing? I did last night. All right, so now we are going to go see Theodore and his new Bye. surprise. Bye-bye. Theodore, as everybody knows, is one of the um, male chicks. Um, you know, he came to us, was hatched with us the, the same time everybody else was. Um, they all were in the same brooder and, you know, the way baby chicks do but then at three weeks old he was um violently kicked off the island um they attacked him uh, actually three of them got attacked um and the other two they healed quite well it took a little while but they healed and they were able to be rehomed but Theo didn't heal it took well it took him a couple of months for some of the the outer wounds to heal but the infection has never healed and he's got permanent damage Oof, sorry about that noise he's got permanent damage to his uh, rectum and his intestines and his infection unfortunately is a constant battle and he's always contagious and there's nothing we can do about it unfortunately so he lives in the house with us. He always has. Um, he goes downhill often. He'll be fine for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then all of a sudden, boom. We'll find him barely breathing and not eating, not drinking, and so on and so on. Um, he lives in a small coop in the house. And then he's got a small box in the garage that he can come out and hang out in as well. A dig box. Um, you know, when Michael's out on the treadmill, he brings him out. Theo is a very anxious chicken, a very anxious rooster. He does not do anything out of his norm. He does not get off his dig box. Um, he'll come out of his cage in the house, but only to wander around my bed. That's it. Unfortunately, he bites and it hurts. I've got scars all over, but it's not his fault. And he also has got nails and a beak like crazy because he can't file them down. But I talked to my husband a couple weeks ago about getting something for Theo because we can't, we can't give him away. We can't find him a home. I don't want him to die. Um, it, nobody can eat him. Um, I can't put him in with the chickens. He can't keep living in the house 24 seven. Um, we gotta figure something out. We can't afford to build a new big coop like the others live in. I mean, they live in a big, massive kingdom. But Theo needs constant care and constant supervision and needs to come in at night. And if the weather's bad or it's too cold, he can't go outside because he can't handle the cold like the others do. So we got Theo a house. Are you ready? Bum bum bum. This is Theo's house. It is one of those uh, um, tractor supply prefabs. Um, right now all he's been willing to do is um, freak out and try to get out. 
I'm almost thinking that one of those perches might need to come out. It keeps friggin' like necking him. Anyways, it's kind of cute, right? It's small. I don't. The the advertisement said that uh, it was. It could have like what did it say? Like up to six hens or something. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't even like it for my one rooster, like at all. My chickens aren't used to something so small. But for him. It's kind of fine. It's kind of perfect, you know, and it, it gives him some freedom um, or gives him the opportunity to learn some freedom. Look at the darn mole holes in there. Maybe he'll catch them all. But I mean, it's it's not a bad little setup. It's got some adjustments that needs done, you know, to make it safe. You certainly could never leave a chicken in this um, ooh, overnight alone. I, I, I know that there's people who do that, and I'm sure those are the people that um, I see later on Facebook crying about their their chicken getting killed. But it's it's nice for just him to hang out in. Um, it was. I want to say $300. He just desperately wants to come inside. Right now, he absolutely does not want to hang out outside. He's not used to that. I know, baby. You want to say hi? Look how big he's got. And he's so big and he's so handsome. Theodore. Hi, baby. Oh, the hot tub turned on. That's weird. Hi, sweetheart. What do you think? Huh? You know, and he's the kind of chicken that he's, he's just gonna... <laughs> he's stubborn. He's gonna dig his... His little claws in and not move and be upset and... And then eventually he'll be like, oh, I guess this wasn't so bad. So, and it kind of matches the property. Maybe a little lighter color than the house, but matches the garden and stuff. And you know, we can't plan for, for Theo's future. We don't know how long we'll have him. He could live as long as the others, you know, we, we don't know. Um, we give them the best quality medical care that we can and see what happens. But in the event, um, well, that's not an if, it's a when, you know, when we no longer have him. You know, this little thing would make a good little grow out coop, um, like in the garage or something since babies can't be in with the adults. Not a bad idea. I certainly would not, and I repeat, would not have this out here just like this. Um, there's nothing under there. It just sits, I could lift it up, I could lift the whole thing up and move it if I wanted to. Even if you put hardware cloth under there, um, it's still not very sturdy. It's still not very safe. This would rip off easily. This whole piece here would rip off. You could rip the roof, the door, the window, anything off. Super easy. But I'm not going to judge people who use them because clearly I have one now. But we also have a camera on it and we're always home. And he won't be out here unless he's being watched. And he will continue to have his little coop in the house. Um... I don't know that Theo will ever be able to live outside full time. He's very uh, susceptible to the cold. He doesn't do well with it. But anyways, I'm babbling now. I just really wanted to show you um, how well Theo is doing. And how well the flock is doing. And, uh, as always, thank you so much for your support and our friends and family. Um, we, we couldn't thank you enough for always being there for us. And, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, 
If it strikes your fancy, please tell your friends. You can find us on Facebook as well. The link will be below. And as always, I'll win.